I definitely do think Mimi's um, a part of me, um, and I'm a part of Mimi. We share a lot of the same characteristics, but as Mimi, they're heightened. She likes to be funny, she likes to wear gowns, uh, she likes to be a fierce lip syncer. Sienna, I'd say when she's performing, is like super sexy, but also super fucking stupid. Definitely loves to chat with uh, everyone who comes to her shows. Um, and she loves to have a nice wig on her head. Putting together outfits. It's my favorite. Um, like, I think of Sienna as like just like this way I could just uh, wear things I wouldn't normally wear on a daily basis, but have it look super good. I mean, it's something you can't really do in your normal life without being ridiculed. Like, I can't just go out wearing lipstick and have that be fine. But I'm finding that drag is something that people enjoy and people accept for the most part. And so um, there's that aspect of it, like I love um, kind of breaking the gender binaries. I find that like with Mimi I can be a lot like freer with how I interact with people and it's funny and I can make those kind of jokes and have that be like well received which I can't necessarily do as Andres. Oh, a friend of mine started watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race and watched one episode, but I was like super into how some of these drag queens like looked and how they were crafting their looks. And uh, I was like, wow, I can like totally do that. Just recently, like the gay movement and that kind of thing have um, definitely changed the minds of a lot of people. So people are more accepting of gay people, more accepting of trans people. And that kind of thing usually starts with the younger generation, so I think it's only natural that these attitudes um, have kind of shifted for the millennials. Hmm. I just like really like to have fun with it. I don't take myself too seriously when I'm in drag. I think my favorite part about uh, drag is performing, um, as well as um, the clothes. With performing, um, I've always loved to lip sync. This is Nicky Otov, and he's from New York. Kind of my inspiration for the drag that I do. His looks are super conceptual. I like every single one of my looks to be like a concept in itself. I did an Annie number, but I wanted it to be more of like a banshee Annie. I think one of the biggest misconceptions people have about drag is that um, drag queens and trans women are synonymous. Um, and that's not the case, and I think that that confuses a lot of people um, and definitely confuses people's perceptions of trans women and drag queens. Um, so drag queens don't live their life as women every single day, they only do it for performance. Whereas trans women have to um, face every day and face the oppression they, that women often do, um, but heightened because they're trans women. And I think to kind of give drag queens that um, identity as well is harmful to trans women. Um, and also just harmful to society's perception of like what being trans is or what being a drag queen is. It's amazing because you know I did this myself. I put my look together. I don't like when I'm in drag. I don't feel the need to be a woman. Like, it's still the same thing, but I'm just in drag. It's, it doesn't really. It's like a costume. It's a costume. It's a character. It's to me not much different from acting. 